What's up, y'all? Welcome back. How you all doing? <laughs> How y'all feeling? Let's get into the early tea message for today. Happy Monday, everybody. I hope you all enjoyed your weekend, your holiday weekend, your long weekend, right? Most of you had a long weekend. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. All right, new week, new money, new affirmations, new energy, new everything. All right, happy Monday to all of you guys. Welcome back if you are returning and welcome if you are new and tapping in with us for the first time. This is a general message for today. Whatever comes out, comes out. Take what resonates with you and leave the rest for somebody else out there. Do not force it if it's not your message, baby. Please come in and use your discernment. All right. Let's see what's going on with y'all collective. Let's see what's in the energy for today. All right, let's see what's happening with y'all. What's happening with my Divine Collective early tea? Monday, Monday, Monday early tea for y'all. Yes, 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 yes. All right, let's see what's going on, Collective. Oh, we got the Nine of Pentacles and the Justice revealing itself. Okay, so that's good energy. Justice and the Nine of Pentacles. Good energy, Collective. So far, so far, so good. Looks like some of you are getting justice in a situation or you have received some sort of justice in a situation. You're showing up as a solo person, someone that's independent, someone that's confident. All right, I'm hearing someone that's strong, wise, resilient. Strong, wise, and resilient, all right? Very powerful energy coming in for you, collective. Okay, and you're using this full moon energy to your advantage. You know, the full moon just started, what, like at 4.15, 4.17 a.m. to be exact. But yeah, Eight of Cups energy here. You're walking away from what no longer serves you. Full moon energy in full effect. Okay, a lot of y'all are purging right now, releasing what no longer serves you for your highest good. Some of you could be also doing fasting. Okay, you could be fasting during this time doing different detoxes, okay? Look at that Nine of Pentacles energy showing up again for you, collective. Very beautiful. Let's get three more shuffles for you guys, see what's coming out here. I feel like somebody here feels like you have unfinished business with them. It's like somebody here doesn't want you to close out a cycle with them. I feel like somebody wants to take some sort of action, all right? Somebody here sees that you're happy, okay? All right, so you could have closed out a cycle, but somebody else feels like the cycle shouldn't be closed out. And they looking at you, they spying on you, and they see that you're happy, and they're confused. How is it that you're happy, Collective? You're not bothered? No, Collective, you're not bothered. I'm hearing out of sight, out of mind. <laughs> you're not bothered. You're definitely not overthinking. You're definitely not bothered. I'm hearing out of sight, out of mind. Yeah, and you fill with love. You walk with love. You do things out of love. You work from your heart space. Your heart chakra is healed. Your heart is open. You are open to giving and receiving. You ready to receive all that life has for you, all that God has in store for you, all that the most high, the divine, the universe has in store for you. You're like, listen, I come in peace. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm chilling on this side. I love those that love me. I show love to everybody I come in contact with, you know? You chilling, collective. Queen of Cups energy. Very high vibrational. And somebody feels like you abandoned them. I'm telling you. You abandoned me. Love don't live here anymore. <laughs> somebody is saying that you forsaken them. You abandoned them. Love don't live here anymore. Okay, collective. Five of Pentacles here. Somebody feel left out in the cold. They feel like an outsider. They feel like you're protecting yourself. You're protecting your energy. Damn, you ain't thinking about me. Damn, you don't care about me no more. Damn, you protecting yourself from my energy. Damn, I can't even tap into your energy no more. It's like that. Collective, you say, yeah, it's like that. Okay, it's like that. It's like that. <laughs> it's like that and like this and like that. And uh, it's like that. It's like this. <laughs> But we got the ten. Y'all know I play too much. But we got the ten of swords here. Somebody sad, y'all. Not this person sad. Whoever this is, this person sad because they can't energetically connect to you. This person sad because they feel like you've abandoned them or you've forsaken them, right? This person feels left out in the cold. Five of Pentacles. They feel like they can't tap into your energy anymore. They feel like you ain't thinking about them. A lot of y'all left this person because they could have breadcrumbed you. 
This person wasn't coming in with no solid offer. <laughs> so with the six of pentacles and the reverse here, to the five of pentacles, you said, man, I got to go. I got to go, got to go, got to go right now. You got to go. Collective, you said you had to go. And wherever you went, child, you happier than the mug. Wherever you went, you happier than the mug. <laughs> Some of you could be Leos. You could have Leo in your chart. You could also have Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces in your chart. All right? But strong water, strong Leo energy here. But you're just full of love and you happy as hell either way. And you block this person. Some of y'all block this person. Y'all stop talking to this person. Stop communicating with this person. Some of y'all are out of, you can't even be reached, okay? Some of y'all could have changed your whole phone number or I don't know what y'all done did, but you are definitely M.I. fucking A, okay? Somebody here feel like you went A wall on their ass. <laughs> this person is trying to do spell work on you, child. They trying to manipulate you. I'm telling you, this is somebody that's trying to get into your energy. I'm hearing astral projection. So this person could be trying to astral project to you and shit. Like, you gonna think about me, motherfucker. And it's like, baby, no. <laughs> baby, please, back the fuck up off of me, okay? Security. And this person's like, call off your handlers. I just want to be loved by you, baby. <laughs> this person is a hot-ass mess. This person sees you getting attention, okay? You be getting attention from different suitors during this time. But you're definitely someone that's getting a lot of attention. I feel like even some of you could be in the public eye. This Six of Wands is giving me, like, public praise, attention, you know, admiration. If those of you that are, like, um, content creators, this message may definitely resonate with you. But it's like... You just chilling, you know, you just doing what you do, you know, you just being you, being your authentic self and receiving praise and recognition and admiration and love for being in your high vibrational ass energy. That's it. That's it. That's all, you know, and this person see that shit and they like, wow, I can't come near you. You like hell motherfucking no. <laughs> Collective, this person said, I can't come near you. You said no. Mm -mm, you can't come near me. Collective, you got your sword out, Queen of Swords. You said, uh-uh, you can't come too close. No, you cannot. You are protecting yourself. And I also feel like you're be, being protected, you know, by your spirit team, okay? They're not playing about you. They're protecting you. I'm hearing that they surround you front, back, side to side, all right? Some of you may resonate with eagles or butterflies, okay? Somebody here may have a tattoo of an eagle or a butterfly, some of you may even wear like an eagle ring or a butterfly ring. That's so funny. <laughs> That's so funny. Um, I, I like to wear rings. I'm sure you guys can tell. <laughs> I love rings. And I own an eagle and a butterfly ring. But I'm just really connected to this eagle and butterfly um, because of this, this eagle and butterfly here. I never really paid attention to it too much until just now. But yeah, Collective, look at you. You're so powerful. You're showing up as the Queen of Swords, the Queen of Pentacles, and the High Priestess. And you're showing up as the star. You're a healer. You know, Collective, you're a healer. We go through this every time I talk to y'all. Every time I get in here and talk to y'all, I tell you how beautiful your energy is, Collective. Those of you that really resonate with me, those of you that's a part of my soul tribe, a part of my divine collective, I mean, your energy just remains very consistent. You are so high vibrational. You're on the right path. You're doing everything it is that you're called to do. And you loving yourself, you nurturing yourself from the inside out. You showing up as someone that's extremely tapped in. Some of you could even be gifted. You could be psychic. But you are someone that's intuitive. Either way you put it, you're extremely intuitive. The high priestess is one who knows. And this queen of pentacles, queen of cups energy. It's like you embody all the queens. I wouldn't be surprised if the empress falls out in a second. But you are somebody that is loving, kind, giving, compassionate, considerate intuitive healing nurturing loving you have like this motherly energy about you people just feel safe around you you know you may even have people that just come up to you and tell you their whole life story they just vent to you because they know it's a safe space they know you're not judging them and people also feel like you give some of the best advice as well collective you're like um like a guru <laughs> i don't know like you're like the the mother i don't know like that's the energy you give you could be like the mother out of your friends group or like even like your any social setting or like your um, associates, right? People that you talk to every now and then. They look at you as like the mother or the therapist of the group. <laughs> like literally. They're like, let me come to you with my problems and let, and let me ask you what I should do. Let me ask you for your advice. You give great advice. 
And it's so funny because I had a, this is so funny that I'm getting this message because you know you making it when you start getting bullied or you start getting trolls. Shout outs to y'all. Y'all really helping me grow. I love it here. But you know you making it when you start getting crazy trolls, right? So somebody, I think it was yesterday or two days ago, I'm not too sure. Um, but somebody had wrote, we don't need your advice. Mind you, I know that this person's not part of my collective. Y'all won't ever talk to me like that. Y'all love me and I love y'all. And we very respectful to one another because we're high vibrational, okay? We treat others the way we want to be treated and we love on one another. So I know that this person was a troll. Of course, they're not a part of my divine collective. But two days, I think it was like a day ago, two days ago, this person, they're going to be happy that I'm, that I'm, you know, shouting their silly, crazy asses out as well. Because that's what they want. They want attention. They want their five minutes of fame, five seconds of fame, what have you. So they go and say, we don't need your advice. You're a tarot reader <laughs> or something like that. You're a tarot reader. Just read the cards. We don't need your advice. So some old weird shit like that. I'm like, oh, you pressed. <laughs> But you sat here and watched the whole video, didn't you, with your silly ass? <laughs> First of all, you can take that advice. You can not take that advice. I know a lot of y'all love getting advice or receiving advice. At the end of the day, do what you want. We all have free will. But just to even put a comment like that lets me know that I triggered you, which also lets me know that I did my job. <laughs> but I just felt like it's funny. I wasn't even going to mention that. I don't mention the stupid shit that I see. Um, I don't even, I don't engage with it, nor do I mention it. Um, but I just, I feel like I needed to say that because I'm getting here collective that you are someone that gives great advice as well. <laughs> but we have the Ace of Pentacles here. I feel like there's an awful opportunity coming from you. I mean, coming towards you. But I really do feel like, see... You see how I said coming from you. Whoever this person is that I done picked up on, child, this person wanted you to come to them, okay? That could be part of the little magic that they doing behind the scenes. This person could be doing like a come to me candle or some more weird shit like that. But I'm hearing sweetening spells, sweetening jars or come to me spells, come to me candles and jars. This person wants you to sweeten up your feelings towards them. Right now, whoever this is, they feel like you're very cold towards them. They feel like you're not thinking about them. You could care less about them. They feel like you don't give a flying fuck about them. And, you know, with all due respect, collective, you probably don't. But um, <clears throat> furthermore, this person wants to sweeten that, okay? They want to sweeten your feelings towards them. Go easy on me, collective, okay? Be nicer to me. Be open to me, love me, care about me, think about me, please. Like, this is what this person is yearning for. But this is somebody that abuses their power. Any power that they have, they abuse it because they control it. This is somebody with control issues. This person is out of control, so they feel like they need to control orders to feel like they have some sense of control, which they really don't. They don't even have control of themselves, which is why they want to control others. They got a point to prove to themselves. Y'all know how we go. Oh, shadow work needs to be done. But anyways, furthermore, <laughs> the Hierophant in the reverse, okay? This is somebody that's non-committal. This is someone that's out of fucking control, like I said. Page of Wands in the reverse. They're mad. This person's angry during this time. They also have a Queen of Wands in the reverse that's attached to them that's angry. This person could, uh, this person could actually be trying to go through a divorce or a breakup right now. With the Queen of Wands in the reverse. I'm hearing that this person's goal was to make you jealous. Wow. Not you. Not you were supposed to be jealous. And you you too busy helping heal the world. Child. This person think they very important, child. <laughs> they think they are extremely important, okay? This person feel like they are important, okay? To you. They could be important to everybody else. I'm sure they're important to their mama. But this person feels like they're the most important thing to you as well. And I mean, baby, it's a hard pill to swallow that <laughs> they have no importance in your life at all. And if they did before, they no longer have it. You know? Hate to be the bearer of bad news, but we have the King of Pentacles here. What's going on with this King of Pentacles? <laughs> Some of you could be dealing with earth signs, okay? The hyperfont in reverse is Taurus energy. Some of y'all could be dealing with a Taurus. I also have Virgo, Gemini energy here, okay? Capricorn. Some of you dealing with earth signs or Gemini specifically. Yeah, you walked away from this King of Pentacles. You walked the fuck away. 
Eight of Cups. This person's like, where are you going? I'm the King of Pentacles. You're like, I don't give a damn. This is somebody that could even be very well off financially, financially stable. You're like, okay, what does that mean? Good for you, <laughs> you know? Some of you have found out that this person has options. They've been keeping their options open. They've been sneaking. They've been lying to you. This is somebody that has not changed in any way. This is somebody that y'all could have known for quite some time as well. And back in the day, they used to be like that. And they still like that right now. And they could have been trying to come towards you acting like they not like that anymore. But you found out that they are. Again, you are the high priestess. And with the moon reverse, you done found some shit out. Something here has been illuminated to you about this king of pentacles and you walked away. Yep, you made a decision to walk away. You know that this person is not emotionally invested in you or anybody for that matter. This is somebody that's non-committal. This is somebody that just want to stick and move and groove, okay? They just want to get their groove on. They here for a good time, not a long time. And you showing up as someone that is ready. You're very mature. You're very emotionally um, stable, emotionally available. And it's like you're ready for real love. Collective, I feel like you're ready for real love. You're ready for the real thing. Okay, you like, listen, I'm ready for it all. No rush, no pressure, but I damn sure ain't about to waste my time, nor am I going to waste yours. And I don't want you playing with my heart, and I'm not going to play with yours. So now that I see what type of time you want, I'm out. Collective, I feel like that's where you at with it. You showing up as the queen of cups in the reverse. This person is showing up as the king of cups in the reverse. Come on now, it's not a vibrational match. This person's emotionally immature, emotionally uninvested, emotionally aloof. Okay, then they're not here emotionally. They're not trying to be here either. High or front reverse. They're not trying to be here. But you on the other end got so much love to give. You ready to give and receive true, genuine love. This is why this person is not for you. Okay? And this person could have a fire sign or earth sign that is connected to them, that's upset with them, that they're separating from. Also collective, this person could be an earth sign, okay, or a Gemini. Again, yeah, strong earth or Gemini for this person. They can have that in their chart. I also got Pisces energy here, but this Pisces energy is just letting me know that you done found some shit out, okay? But this person trying to make their way back to you. After leaving the Queen of Wands in the reverse, they're trying to make their way back to you. I'm hearing they try to turn a hoe into a housewife. Now, let me just say something, right? That's good for them. And I'm going to tell you why I don't feel bad for this person. I don't feel bad for whoever this is in y'all energy because this person, well, they trying to be in your energy. <laughs> Spirits that they're not in your energy. They trying really hard to get into your energy, but they're not in your energy. I don't feel bad for whoever this is because they're non-committal anyway. So they basically just pick somebody that's on the same type of time as them. And again, I've told y'all this before. I'm going to tell y'all this again. Nobody wants to be with somebody that ain't shit, even if they ain't shit. A cheetah does not want to be with another cheetah. A liar does not want to be with a liar. A con artist does not want to be with somebody that's going to scam and con them. Nobody wants to be with somebody that ain't shit, even if they ain't shit. They don't want to be with somebody that ain't shit. Do you understand me? So this person was on some non-committal type of shit. Wasn't really committing, could have said vows as well, because for some of you, this person was even married, but they could have said vows, they could have really got with somebody, really locked it down, even played house with somebody here, and they were still out doing them. But guess what? The person that they chose was out doing them as well. Okay, so listen, two peas in a motherfucking pod it sound like the perfect match to me. But of course, that's not what they want. They want somebody that's loyal, even though they ain't loyal. Collective, they feel like you loyal, and now they're looking back at you. Okay? This is somebody that's upset. I feel like all they do is argue in his home. If they share the home with this person, all these motherfuckers do is argue. This is an unhappy living situation, an unhappy home. All they do is argue. All they do is argue. They both catch each other cheating, looking through each other's phones, stealing each other past codes, running off with the phone, trying to see who texting who. It's just a whole bunch of shit here. I promise you that's how it's going on in their house. Yeah, a lot of third parties. They arguing over money and they arguing over third party situations. They arguing over finances and they arguing over cheating and third parties here. 
this person now wants to leave. They now want to leave. And now they mad. They mad. Because they expected you to always be around. This person expected you to always be around. They expected you to always be waiting on them. This person is an earth sign for some of y'all. A Gemini or a fire sign. Because now they're showing up as the king of wands. But this king of wands was expecting you to always be waiting on them, child. Justice. What's the justice in this situation? Clarify the justice. Give me something on the justice. The tower in the reverse. The will of fortune. The strength card, the page of swords. Oh, this person feel like their justice is you to be with you. To make things right with you. To set up shot with you. Child, please. Mm -mm. This person said collective, they know you single. Some of y'all are single. But they feel like you single. They build in the strength and courage to come towards you. Or they do a spy on you. Or this person do is watch you 24-7, I promise you. This person can stay checking you out, keeping tabs on you. Like I said, with the Six of Wands, some of y'all may be um, content creators or you may have some sort of public presence, okay? Or maybe you just got like public profiles and maybe all your social media accounts is public. But this person be watching every fucking thing you post. They don't miss a fucking beat, I promise you. They see your shit before you see it. <laughs> this person holding on to you. They coming towards you, but they coming towards you brokenhearted. They brokenhearted, and they saying be patient with them because they brokenhearted. They also hoping that they didn't miss out on the opportunity with you. There's third parties that this person used to deal with that hope they missed out on the opportunity with you. They hope that you reject this person. This person has multiple people from their past or that they could have recently been dealing with because, like I said, they're non-committal. So this is somebody that could have had a little roster, okay? Fucking with Sally on Tuesday, fucking with Shirley on Saturday, you know, <laughs> fucking with Mariah on Thursday, you know, like this person could have had a roster going. And there's multiple people here that this person was dealing with that's hoping that this person has missed out on being with you. They hope that you reject this person. They hope that you break this person's heart. And I'm hearing that a lot of these uh, people could be women because I was about to say a lot of these women. But a lot of these people, whether men or women, they hope that you break this person's heart because this person has broken their heart. So it's like they know how this person feel about you. And they're just like, I hope you break that. I hope you break that motherfucker's heart. I hope you reject them the same way he made us feel. I hope you make him feel the same way. Go ahead and reject that motherfucker. That's how these third parties feel. They watching him. They like, I hope she break your heart. I hope, I hope she tell you she don't want you. You stupid motherfucker. You stupid piece of shit. I hope she tell you that she don't want your raggedy sorry ass. <laughs> Yo, this is crazy. Yo, collective, you know, these third parties might just get their wish. Because it look like you moved on, child. I told you, out of sight, out of mind. You and this person don't talk. Whoever this is, y'all don't even talk to this person. And with the chariot, this is telling me that you've moved on. Chariot, five of pentacles, and the eight of cups is all telling me that you moved on. This person angry. They got an empress in the reverse that they're arguing with. This could be a karmic partner of theirs that still want to work things out with them. Them two are still arguing and going back and forth here. Yeah, this person hasn't even closed out a cycle with their karmic. This person got so much baggage. Child, please. <laughs> This is a hell to the no. A hell to the no, no, no. The niggity no, no. Mm-mm. They got a karmic that they going back and forth with. Karmic don't want them to leave them. Karmic want them to be with them. Collective, you sitting in this nine of cups energy, very fucking unbothered. And this person is bothered that you're unbothered. But this shit ain't got nothing to do with you. So why would you be bothered about this? Like, why would you be bothered about this? Why would you insert yourself in this foolishness? I'm just not understanding. But we got the nine of cups here and the nine of pentacles collected. Come on now. Independent on all levels. Emotionally independent. Very stable. Okay. This person feel like people lying on them to keep keep you from them or to keep them from you this person feels like somebody is purposely blocking them from coming towards you this person showing up as the emperor they saying that they your divine masculine collective child not that you're divine masculine this person is sad some of y'all could be dealing with a virgo we got strong virgo here some of y'all dealing with a virgo a gemini 
Taurus Capricorn or a fire sign. I don't know. Whoever this is, man, they in a bag. This person in a feeling, child. They a juggler, though. That's all they do is juggle. This person not even sure if they really want you or not. This person don't know what the hell they want, which is why they need to just stay where the fuck they at, okay? Like, for real. It ain't nothing but drama following this person. Nothing but conflict, nothing but drama. And whoever their karmic is, this person is bringing drama to their front motherfucking door, which is why you don't have no business being involved in this. And I'm glad that you are not dealing with this. I'm glad that you've walked away from this. I'm glad that you're not talking to this person collective. I truly am. Because I'm telling you, this ain't nothing but a fucking headache. It's a headache reading this shit. This person got so much drama going on. And that's because they be sticking and moving and grooving where they don't need to be. They done got themselves in a world full of trouble. I feel like they got multiple people mad at them. They got people that's broken hearted. They got a karmic kid that's really getting in their ass. Listen, ain't nobody got time for this. <laughs> Ain't nobody got time for this. Oh, hell to the niggity. No, no, no. <laughs> Absolutely not. Collective, not my collective. Oh, no, baby. That's what we're not about to do. <laughs> you ain't got time for this. You said bye. Okay, you said bye, Lance. <laughs> what, mo what movie that's from? <laughs> what movie that's from, y'all? The Players Club, where the little boy be like, bye, Lance. <laughs> Oh, man, that's, oh, man, that shit too funny. Collective, you said bye, Lance. Yeah, bye. Same way they say bye, Felicia, you said bye, Lance. <laughs> Somebody named could be Lance. <laughs> Ooh, child, this shit got me crying. Um, <laughs> I don't know why. It's not a funny situation, honestly. It's just that I could hear the little boy in my head when he'd be like, bye, Lance. All right, <laughs> let's see what's going on. Yeah, blocked. They said unblock them, okay? Collective, I told you this person can't get in touch with you. You hard to connect with. You hard to reach. They said unblock me. Those of you that have this person blocked, they said unblock them, collective. What you want to unblock them for? What y'all got to talk about? What is there to talk about? What they want to say? Child, please. <laughs> this person is shattered. Shattered. All right. They want to spend the block. This person could be driving by your shit as well. If they know where you live at, this person could be driving by your house, spying. They curious to see what you got going on because they know you ain't thinking about them. This person could be trying to cope with their feelings in a negative way. I hope not. Wouldn't wish that on anybody. But somebody here could be turned into alcohol or pills or other substances here to cope with their feelings. I really hope not. I really hope not. Definitely wouldn't wish that on nobody. That is not the way to go. Okay, but this person is shattered because they feel like you turning your back, collective. I told you you walked away. This person feels like you turned your back, and this is making them feel shattered. They're broken inside. Whoever this is, they're shattered because you turned your back, and you won't unblock them. You won't talk to them. <laughs> this person feel like you be acting like you fake busy. So if this person be driving by your crib, they know that your ass ain't busy. They know you in there. They see your motherfucking lights on. You ain't busy. I don't know what's going on, y'all. Y'all got a little stalker or something on your hands, man. Got somebody that be watching you, man. But you see the truth about this person, Collective. You could have recently went through some sort of awakening, but things are being illuminated to you. You discovering some sort of truth here, all right? And yeah, I told you this person said they are divine masculine. They saying that you're there, you're divine masculine, okay? And we got pop the question in the reverse. Maybe this person was going to ask you to marry them, but maybe they ain't going to even ask you that no more because they know you, you're going to say no. Listen, it is what it is, man. I'm just I'm just the messenger child. We got twin flames in the reverse. This could be your false twin for some of you, okay? This could be a false twin for some of y'all or this person was going to marry, um, this person could have, oh, okay, so they could have been wanting to, they could have been proposing to a karmic, or they could have bought a ring and was probably going to give it to a karmic, but they realized that person is a false twin, yeah, because we got divine feminine in the reverse, 
So we got divine masculine in the upright. We got divine feminine in reverse. I told you they had a karmic that was in their ass right now. So this person got with a false twin. Okay, that's why twin flames is in the reverse. They got with a false twin. They got with a fake twin. Okay, a fake empress, a wannabe. They got with a divine feminine in the reverse. Okay, they got with a distorted feminine. And they not happy. They not happy about this shit. They having some sort of awakening. They seeing the truth here. They seeing the truth that they chose a wannabe, a Jezebel. And this person feel like a jackass now. And they trying to telepathically communicate with you. And they know you not heartbroken over them no more. They know this shit. They know you not. They can't even tap into your energy the way they used to. But I'm telling you, they mad as hell. They feel like a jackass right now. This person feels like a complete jackass. I'm telling y'all, hear the card right here. I can't make it up. This person feel like a clown. They feel like they got bamboozled. They got hoodwinked. They got tricked. <laughs> That's how they feel. That's how they feel. And if they bought a ring, it's like they want to get a ring. And they want to get a ring to you and say, but they feel like you turned your back. So they might as well just take that shit back, get their money back or something. I don't know. It's too much going on here, child. <laughs> But this divine masculine is having some sort of awakening. And that's why he said you can't turn a hoe into a housewife. That's what he said. I heard him when he said that. But like I said, he had third parties too. I mean, shit, you both was hoeing, if you ask me. All right, y'all. I'm done. <laughs> this was your early tea. I hope that this message has helped some of you out there, gave you some sort of um, guidance, clarity, confirmation. All right. Shout outs to those of you that don't mind my advice. <laughs> I'm going to talk to y'all soon. Peace.